are doing a 30 minute workout. It's going to be 10 minutes of boxing, so 10 minutes of cardio to kick us off, and then 20 minutes of flow. You need a few things today. You'll need a yoga mat, definitely, and sneakers for the beginning. Make sure you also have water, a towel, anything you might need during your workout. This first 10 minutes, we're gonna do one minute of each exercise. We have five exercises, and we repeat them twice, okay? So we're gonna do all five, and then we'll do all five again. When we get down on our mats, we're gonna focus on flowing, but then also some core work and some glute work in the end. So you will not be disappointed. You will leave feeling strong and energized. Let's get to it. Separate the feet a little bit wider than the hips. Start to roll the shoulders, just opening up the chest. <sighs> Good, and then bring the shoulders to the front. Anything you feel in your body, maybe you decide you need to hold the shoulders up or isolate one, just start to move a little bit more free now. Maybe moving to the back felt a little bit better. And then go ahead, drop the ear to the right shoulder and draw the chin down towards the chest and over to the left. Just little semicircles here, half moons. Whew. So we've got one minute of work. Kicking us off, it's a little step with a knee drive. So it's a combo, it's not just one exercise. This first one is a combo. Start to bounce on the toes, shake out the upper body a little bit more, shoulders, neck, and just start to warm things up while I show you our exercises, okay? If you feel pretty good, get into a jump rope and hang out there until we're ready to go. We're gonna do a step knee, step knee, and then two jumping jacks to the back. Knee, step, knee, step, knee, two jumping jacks to the back. Step, knee, step, knee, two jumping jacks to the back. If you want to bring it up to the next level, second time around, step, kick, step, kick, two jumping jacks to the back. We're gonna move a little bit faster than this. You're gonna work as fast as you can with good form, all right? So that's our first exercise. Second exercise is the only one I'm gonna show you next. It's gonna be one, one, two, switch, 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 four switches. One, one, two, switch, one, one, two, switch. So you're always landing with the right foot forward, right hand starts our punches. 30 seconds through, we're gonna switch sides, left foot will be forward, left hand leads, okay? Those are the first two. That's all I'm gonna show you to start. Hopefully you're still doing jump rope, right? Are you ready? We're gonna get going. In five, step the right foot, lift the knee. In three, two, one, we go. Step, knee, step, knee. Two jumping jacks to the back. So driving that knee up towards the chest. You can even add a little hop, whatever kind of level of coordination you have, <laughs> use it. And then of course, that second level I showed you, it's a step kick. When you're ready for it, go for it. We are 30 seconds in, 30 seconds to go, two jacks. Yep, use your space. Move back, back, back. Can you move a little bit faster? Last 10 seconds here. Knee, knee. Or you've got that kick. Keep it up. Three, two, right foot forward. One, one, two. Switch, 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 switch. Two. Keep the hands up. A little twist of that back hip. Lifting the back heel on that two. One, one, two. One, one, two. All right, 10 seconds before we switch sides. You got it. Switch. Three, two, one, other side. One, one, two, switch. Awesome work. Breathe in, breathe out. One, one, two, switch. One, one, two. Next exercise, 
we drop into a squat. We do a speed bag up to stand and then a jump squat at the top. Last five. So get into that squat position. Three, two, one, right here. Speed bag at the top, jump, bring it back down. Awesome. Hold and up, get low. Amazing, all right, now is where we're picking it up, next level. Good. Starting low, crawling the arms up as you straighten the legs, jumping at the top, move as fast as you can. Awesome work, halfway. Get lower now. Good. And if this doesn't feel good in your body, you've got two options. You can just work the speed bag or just work the squats, okay? Do what feels good. We're going for feeling. We're going for form. We're ditching the ego. Come on. And up. Last five, four, three. We've got skaters. Two, one, and go. Skaters, start small. Don't go very far. Ground down through the feet. Remember, we're doing all of these again. You'll be a little bit more confident next time. Come on. All right, now, start to make it bigger. Bend the knees a little bit more and bring a little bit more speed and power. All right, you keep moving. Next combo is gonna be one, one, two, three, four on the end, okay? And then we're just gonna squat twice. So, getting into those legs, but believe me, we'll get the rest of the body during that yoga flow, and we'll get a good stretch of those legs. Keep moving, 15 seconds. 15 seconds, and then we've got the last exercise. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Three, two, one, here we go. Any foot, left foot forward, maybe this time first. One, one, two, three, four, two squats. One, one, two, three, four, two squats. Woo. Three, four, two squats. Yes. Hands up. Keep them up. Elbows drop down when those hands are idle. One, one, two, three, four. Drop. Five seconds and then we switch sides. You switch the foot that's forward. Let's go. One, one, two, three, four. Whatever foot is forward is the leading hand. Right foot forward. Right hand starts. Yep. Get lower in those squats. Come on. We have 30 seconds rest coming up. And then we do one more round of everything to round out our 10 minutes of work. Let's go. Three, two, one, and done. Awesome job. All right, take a moment to breathe, water, towel, whatever you need. All right, we're going back to that first exercise. Step, knee, knee, two jacks to the back. Move more confidently now. You know, you know what you're doing. You'll feel it in your body, muscle memory. We start in 10 seconds. Are you ready? In five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Step, knee, two jacks. All right, speed now, crew. If you really loved that kick, you can do it already. If you need some time to build for that muscle memory to activate, you stay here just a little bit longer. Come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, you're about reaching the halfway mark. So maybe step, kick, power through the heel of the foot. Good. So from the side, oh, that gives me a little bit more space too. <laughs> I can really move now. Go. All right, 15 seconds. And then we've got that one, one, two with switches. Little scissor with the feet. Five, four, three, two, one. Right foot front. One, one, two, scissors. Keep those feet right underneath you. Yes. One, one, two. 
One, one, two. One, one, two. 10 seconds, then we switch sides. Hands up. So obviously we're working a little bit faster today. If your form isn't perfect, don't worry about it. I want you to get your heart rate up. Lucky for us, we're just shadow boxing. Three, two, one, switch. One, one, two. One, one, two. On the toes, on the toes, switch. All right, five. We drop into that squat, three, two, one. Drop down, speed back and up. Speed back and up. So get low, take at least four counts to get up, three, two, one, four, three, two, one. Maybe you've got a beat playing in the background. Music always helps. Good, keep the fist nice and tight. Good, up, really tight here. And up, moving the hands from low to high. Jump, jump, we're almost there. We're almost there and then we go into skaters. Fourth exercise of the bunch. Breathe, last 10. Can you get lower? Can you get lower? I know, I know. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Get right into it. No rest, so make sure you take a deep breath. Exhale. Start to make it bigger. Confidence comes in. You've been here. Your body remembers it. Core braced. Come on, side to side. Breathe in, breathe out. <laughs> Sit a little bit lower for halfway. Halfway and then we've got our last combo. One, one, two, three, four, two squats. So maybe you start with the left foot forward this time. Really doesn't matter. We'll switch halfway. Sink, 10 seconds. Lower, come on, lower. I'm with you, let's get lower. Three, two, one. All right, here we go. One, one, two, three, four, squat, squat. Make those squats quick. Imagine you're ducking under two quick punches. Someone's coming at you, coming at you. Yes, drop, drop, keep it up. Drop. One, one, two, three, four, drop. One, one, two, three, four. Three, two, one, switch sides. One, one, two, three, four. So whatever hand or whatever foot is forward, same hand starts the punches. All right, remember speed. You can let form go just a little bit. Work for speed. Squats low, 10 seconds. 10 seconds. All right, little surprise at the end. Instead of 30 seconds of rest, 30 seconds of fast feet or high knees. Three, two, one, go. Your choice, here, here, or go. Get those knees up. Awesome work. Breathe in, breathe out. Come on, come on, come on. 15 seconds. Let's go. Run the arms. Lift the knees higher. Lean back just a little bit. Hold yourself accountable. Just you. Only you can hold you accountable. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Done. Whew. All right. Keep the momentum going. Get your mat. Unroll it if you haven't already, if you're not on it already. And then go ahead. Kick off your shoes and we'll meet down in tabletop position. Whew. All right, water towel if you need it. You can also kick your socks off. I'm gonna leave mine on because my feet are sweaty. They'll stick. <laughs> Maybe we'll take them off later. <laughs> Spread the fingers, 
Press down into the mat, drop the belly, lift the chest. And exhale round. Inhale, drop the belly. Exhale round. All right, so slowing down the heart rate, slowing down the rate of your breath. Good, a few more here. Dropping the belly, opening the chest, lifting the tailbone. Exhale, rounding, pulling the chin towards the chest. Yeah, a couple more, close your eyes. And if any position feels good to hold, you can of course hold it. Maybe you move into some rib circles. Awesome, awesome work. All right, crew, we're gonna start with some sun salutations. You're warm, tuck the toes, lift the hips up. We find downward facing dog together. So from downward facing dog, you soften the knees. So you'll notice if you can see me from where you are, my knees are bent. This allows me, one, my hamstrings are super tight all the time, but allows me to also lift my tailbone up towards the ceiling. This creates length through the lumbar spine, through my low back, tailbone lifting up, feeling space there. My fingers are spread super wide and I have a micro bend in my elbows. So they're not locked, they're softened just a bit. And then the action of the arms is that the elbows are wanting to turn down towards the floor. So do that without moving the position of your hands. Your middle finger is forward, your pinky is out, your thumb is in, you've got a nice solid base, and it's the action of internal rotation, turning the elbows down towards the ground. Now feel how that activates the outsides of the arms. We got it, <laughs> take a deep breath in here. Exhale, all right crew. Lift the heels up off of the mat, stretching the legs. Bend the knees even more, look forward like you're gonna pounce, and then step the feet to the hands. Inhale, come to a flat back. Exhale, fold forward. On your inhale, stand up tall, reach the arms to the sky, get as tall as you possibly can, and then exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, place the hands on the ground, bend the knees as you step back to high plank. Stay here, take a few breaths in high plank. When you make that transition, bend the knees enough so that your back stays flat as you step back to plank. So you just inhale to a flat back, you exhale, step back to high plank. You keep the length. Take one more breath in. Now exhale, drop the knees, chest and chin to the earth. Inhale, cobra, which means the legs are down, tops of the feet down, elbows soft, chest open. Take one more breath in here. And exhale over the knees, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. I know for some of you with a stronger practice, that might feel a bit slow. It might be frustrating to pause in your sun salutations, but I want you to practice it. A lot of growth happens when we get uncomfortable. And we can get uncomfortable in a number of ways. We can get uncomfortable by the exercise being hard, but we can also get uncomfortable by getting out of our routine, out of the normal. Take a breath in, lift the heels. Bend the knees, look forward, walk to those hands. Take a flat back, inhale, really lengthen, hands under the knees. Exhale, fold. On the inhale, reach up, big stretch, get tall, tall, tall and then exhale, fold forward. Now here's where I was talking about. Inhale, flat back. Now bend the knees to plant the hands on the ground, back is still flat, high plank. Take a breath in here, and then on the exhale, drop knees, chest, chin. Inhale, cobra, lift the heart, lift the face. Exhale back, downward facing dog. Take a breath in. And a breath out. All right, let's go. Inhale, lift the heels. Bend the knees, look forward, walk or hop up to the hands. A flat back, we breathe in. Exhale, we fold forward. Inhale, arms up, stretch, get tall. 
Exhale, right back down. Flat back, lengthen. This time, hands down, high plank, hold. Option to just bend the elbows, low plank. Inhale, come on the tops of the feet, upward facing dog, legs are now lifted. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in, breathe out. One more time, crew, lift the heels, breathe in. Exhale, bend the knees, hop to those hands. Flat back, lengthen. Exhale, fold back down. Breathe in, rise. Breathe out, fold. Flat back, lengthen. Hands down, high plank. Lower down, low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog, stretch. Roll over the toes, downward facing dog. Step the feet together at the back of your mat. Still in downward facing dog, just big toes touching. Lift the right leg up as high as it will go. And then step that foot between your hands, runners, lunge. All right, so from here, fingertips are on either side of that foot. I'm just gonna stay lifted. I'm afraid my microphone will hit my knee. <laughs> Take a deep breath in. See if you can sink a little bit lower. There we go. Good, and then from here, drop the back knee, untuck the toes. We plant that left hand flat and we reach the right arm up, finding a nice low lunge twist. Good, now arm over arm, you've got a nice straight line coming out perpendicular to the mat. You've got a bend in the front knee, the knee is over the ankle. Good, and that knee is tracking straight forward towards the toes. It's not rolling out, your foot is flat. And then just a little bit of emphasis through the mid body. We move the chest towards the knee. Good. So without changing much of your form, the heart just wants to come closer and closer to the knee. Good, feel that. Take a deep breath in. And then on the exhale, Bring that hand down, framing the front foot, tuck the toe again, lift the back knee, downward facing dog. Good, so just starting to open up the hips. They already did a lot of squats, a lot of leg work. Feet together, lift the left leg this time as high as it will go, and then step between the hands. Fingertips on either side of that front foot. Lift the heart just a little bit. Good. See if you can sink that right hip lower, 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 and then eventually drop the back knee on the earth, untuck the toes. Good. So that right leg is extended straight out from the hip joint. It's in line with the edge of your mat. Before we twist, you look down at that left knee, make sure it's over the left ankle, and then plant that right hand flat under the shoulder. Lift the left arm up, and now don't rush. Same pace as the other side, even though you know where we're going. Soften that right elbow just a little bit, arm over arm, nice and open. And then make sure the knee is still tracking forward. And then start to move the heart towards the knee. Awesome work. Breathe in, breathe out. Good, heart even closer, breathe in, breathe out. Last breath in, look up. Exhale, bring that hand to the earth. Tuck the back toes, lift the knee. Meet me in downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in here. Exhale. Feet together again, lift the right leg to the sky, breathe in. Exhale, step forward, runner's lunge again. This time coming right up to crescent lunge. Good, so we're warm, we got this. Take a deep breath in, stay where you are. Exhale, sink even lower. Maybe you need to bend the back knee just a little bit. Good, one more breath in. On the exhale, we open up warrior two. So right toes forward, left toes, Point to the left side wall, sink into the front knee, 
Don't bring your chest with you. Just like when we're punching, we don't lean forward. We don't do that here. Heart over hips. Heart in line with pelvic bone. You're in a nice straight line. Yeah. Arms extended. Gazing over those front fingertips. Sinking lower. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Flip the front palm. Reverse. And then exhale, side angle. Drop right forearm to thigh. Left arm overhead, big side body stretch. Oh, good. Inhale, come up, reverse. Now straighten the front leg. Reach forward, 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 forward. And come down into triangle. So you'll notice I still have a micro bend in my front knee, my right knee, but I've also Walked my back foot in a bit. Good. This is where I know my socks need to come off soon. <laughs> Eyes on the sky. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Remember that motion from the runner's lunge twist. We're opening up the heart. And this time we don't have a knee to more move the heart towards, but you can still imagine that action. Good. On the next inhale, come on up. Straight legs, toes forward, little back bend, open up the arms, and then exhale, fold forward through a flat back. Take a flat back, inhale, exhale, walk over to the right foot, runner's lunge. Step back, high plank, lower down, low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog, and exhale, downward facing dog. Stay where you are, take a few breaths, maybe pedaling out the feet, breathe in, breathe out. We have another side to do. Feet together, lift the left leg up, breathe in. On the exhale, step forward, runner's lunge. Hopefully no one just heard my hip crack. <laughs> Soften the back knee, lift the arms up, we find crescent lunge. Listen to that body, all the sounds. Soften the front knee. Soften the back knee so the hips can drop a little bit more. Take another breath in and then go ahead, open up, warrior two. Press through the outside of that back foot. Bend the front knee. Heart over hips. Good. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, reverse this warrior, lean back without straightening the leg. Exhale, side angle, right arm overhead. We take a deep breath in here. Exhale, stretch a bit more. Inhale, up and reverse. And then straighten the front leg. Reach forward, forward, forward. Maybe back foot comes in. And then triangle pose. Soften the front knee, don't lock it straight. You lock it straight, you're limiting yourself. And you're also not strengthening your muscles. Soft knees require your muscles to activate, stabilize you. Bring that left hand inside the leg, press against the leg to open up the chest. So like I was saying, think about that runner's lunge twist when we're moving the heart towards the knee. Right here, instead of the ground, you've got your leg as leverage. Pressing the hand into the leg, giving you the space now and the strength to open up, to twist a bit more. Take another breath in. Exhale. On the inhale, come on up. Toes forward, arms wide, palms forward. Open up the chest. And then exhale, fold forward all the way down. Inhale, come to a flat back. Exhale, walk over to the left foot, runner's lunge. Step back, high plank. Lower down, low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in and breathe out. Go ahead, drop your knees to the earth and swing the legs around. We're coming onto our backs. Lay down, make sure you move any kind of ponytail or obstacles out of the way. 
bring the knees into the chest. We start with a few bicycles reclined here. Left leg extended, hold on to the right knee, and then switch, and switch. So low impact. We're gonna be here for a minute. Options to start to lift the upper body. Good, this single leg stretch from Pilates, you might recognize it. It's eventually gonna evolve into a bicycle. You take your time. Breathe in, breathe out. All right, we're about halfway through. So if you haven't lifted the upper back, now's your time. If you'd like, bring the hands behind the head. Just these single legs for now. Good. We have about 15 seconds left, maybe now. The bicycle, slow and control. You got this, you got this. Last five, four, three, two, one. And hug the knees in. Let things settle for a moment. Whew. And then plant those feet, arms by the sides. Make sure the middle finger can touch the edge of your heel. That's how close your feet are. And the feet are spaced hips width distance apart. So look, make sure you can't see your shins. Hands down, lift the hips. Good, we hold here, squeeze the back body. So squeeze the glutes, engage the hamstrings, the backs of the body, the back of the body. You know, all those backs you got. Back of the body, take a breath in, lift the hips higher. Exhale, drop them lower. Inhale, we lift. Exhale, we lower, they hover, they don't touch the ground. Inhale, maybe your butt just grazes the ground. All right, now find a rhythm. Find a rhythm of your breath that makes sense to you. If it makes more sense to exhale at the top, go for it. But the exhale at the bottom forces you to keep engaging the muscles. <sighs> holding with the core. Good, still holding with the glutes to make sure the hips stay hovered. <sighs> we got it, we got it. We're about coming up on our 30 minute mark, but we're gonna go a little bit longer just so we get a good cool down. Stay here for five, four, three, two, one. Last time we stay up, hold. Maybe walk the shoulders closer together, interlace the hands underneath you, keep engaging the back body, I know. Lengthen the front of the body, Send the knees away, take one more breath in, and then exhale, release. <sighs> Find a nice flat back. Bring the feet as wide as the mat, knock the knees together, both hands on the belly. Close the eyes. <sighs> you made it. 10 minutes of warming up, boxing. 20 minutes of flow. We're just here for another minute or so. Nothing crazy. And if you have more time or you want a little bit more, you know where to find more workouts in the app. Bring the feet underneath the knees again. Cross right ankle over left knee, figure four. Flex that right foot and go ahead right in for that glute stretch. A little rock. Maybe, maybe you find stillness really pulling that leg in towards you, getting the stretch through the right glute. Go ahead, release. Switch sides, cross that left ankle over right. Go ahead, pull it in. Awesome work today, crew. I hope you feel good. I hope you feel energized, ready to take on your day. We're not going to end with a Shavasana, but if you'd like to just press pause, ignore me, you can stay on your back, 
We'll finish class today with three deep breaths in a seated position. Take one more breath here. On the exhale, release. Hug both knees into the chest and go ahead, start to rock and roll. Bringing yourself up to a seated position, ankles crossed, hands at heart center. Let the shoulders relax, heartbeat settles, breath slows. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Do that again. Exhale. Deep breath in. And exhale. Bring the thumbs to the third eye center. Taking this opportunity to set some kind of intention or goal or commit to some kind of energy for the rest of your day, your evening, wherever this finds you. Lift the heart to the sky and let's seal it with a bow. Namaste.